poor Anders. You pity him. He's dangerous to himself and everyone around. Okay. I think he's broken the thing he wanted to save. You pity him because he's you. Breaking the things we love most isn't restricted to mages, Hemis. Sadly true. Hmm. The first enchanter overstepped his bounds. Really? Seems like they're getting along a little better. Want to know which side you pick. It weakens you. Oh, I went the wrong way. Huh. I understand he's kind of lame, but usually the people that other people don't like I tend to enjoy, so we'll, we'll give him a chance. Who is this? Surely you recognize the champion? Or were you too long from Kirkwall to witness the Canary attack? Ah, I like how they did that. My apologies, champion. I am Sebastian Vale, formerly of Starkhaven, more recently a brother in the Chantry under her grace. You're not a Templar? That's a lot of armor for a mere brother. I used to be Prince of Starkhaven. I've seen my share of battles. I have no interest like his eyes. in joining the Templars, though. I prefer to serve the Maker in both peace and war. Not only if there is someone to fight. What's Starkhaven? What brings you here? My family was... murdered. I only survived because I had taken vows here in Kirkwall. The Maker meant you for a different life. There's been a lot of murdered family in this I game. I wonder sometimes what would have happened if I had returned. Oh, what's up? You two sounded pretty upset before. Anything I can do? I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. Mm -hmm. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Mm. Sebastian, if I can ask, Anything, Your Grace. And the champion, too, if you will. Yeah, I like the revered mother. We'll be nice to her. I am your humble servant. You honor me. The Divine is concerned about the situation. She does not want to see the free marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. An Inquisitor, maybe? Huh. Wouldn't this end more quickly if the Divine got <laughs> Has Kirkwall not suffered enough? Should it be declared anathema and an enemy of the Chantry? Imagine I always wondered how you said that. Filled not just with Meredith's Templars, but all the forces the Divine can command. Yeah, that would suck. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She well said. The voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the exalted marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the faith. What can you tell me about this servant of the divine? I was not told her real name. Only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the divine's left hand. Sent to do work that mm -hmm. might blacken the divine's name. Ah, so she's a murderer. What argument would convince her? The Divine has heard my protests already. I must trust your own powers of persuasion now. Fortunately, I can be very persuasive. I cannot wait. And I have a stick. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. Well, good for her. The room has been sealed since the Canary incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. That's why we have a Varric. with you now, if you wish, or wait for you here. Nah, that's cool. Um, so what is he? He's a rogue. He's an archer. Uh, kind of nice. I keep him on par with the rest of the party. You suck, Anders.
It's a shame. You're lucky. You are so lucky. Metool42 sent me a comment. I could have kicked him out of the party. I wish I had, but that's okay. It's not worth dwelling on. Um... Hmm... I trust Varric more than the new guy, but I kind of want to try him out, so we'll, we'll be redundant with our range superiority, and we'll let Meryl sit one out. Because we need a Fenris. And if we're going to be breaking into stuff, we certainly don't want to get Aveline involved. Oh, okay, so we don't have to worry about his attributes, but we do have to pick all of his skills. Uh, wow, they gave him a lot of... Yeah, he's got crap for cunning, so... But his dexterity is stupid. He has a 30% chance of critically hitting him. That's pretty awesome. Also, um, let's see. We can give him... We gave him the light that pierces, plus two to all of his tributes. Immunity to knockback, very nice. And the adherence belt. More dex, more critical damage, more critical chance. Very nice. Ah, I should have grabbed the rogue bows for him. Because this one's awful. That's okay, we can stop by the house again. Ah, oh, he looks pretty cool, I like him. I can zoom in and get a good look at him. I like his outfit. The chainmail and the, the little metal plates. It's almost brigandine. I think. Uh, it's been a while since I've messed with armor. Meryl, what are you doing here? You're, you're, you're supposed to be Fenris. Damn it, woman. Okay, anyway. Uh, what are his ro royal archer, you say? So if he likes... Um, if he likes us, his faith allows him to endure hardships. He gets more re damage resistance. Okay. If he doesn't like us... He's determined to survive, and he gets 50 regen. That's kind of nice. Guardian Angel! Ethereal decoy that keeps enemies occupied while he escapes the stealth. Very cool. Critical chance. Righteous chain. Every basic shot increases his chance to critical hit. Any other talent cancels the effect, but Arrow of Judgment can exploit the chain. Arrow of Judgment. Physical damage plus 50% up to... Oh my god. Uh -huh. Every two is 100. Yeah, so... 500% bonus damage if he does a full chain. That's ridiculous. That's pretty cool. Uh, suffer increased... Ah, damage resistance reducing thing. Very cool. And, I mean, and it's chain affected. Okay, Guardian Angel, also Holy Precision. More critical damage. Mafreth's Advance. Whenever he strikes an enemy from behind, always a critical. Not bad. Uh, damage resistance. Eh, not really necessary for Rogue, but we're definitely going to take these. I wouldn't mind getting those. We've got 12. Yeah, we're good. I don't, don't really see the need for that one, though. Okay, we obviously need to get him... Well, maybe we don't need to get him the AoE stuff. He's going to be more of a single target type guy. Hmm. Uh, stealth... Ambush, he already has the critical chance. Hmm. Bad... Okay. What else do we got? Rush. Fatiguing fog. That could be kind of handy. What else does it do? Obscure chance for all party members and ooh, disorient chance. What's this one do? Happens more often. More damage. Okay, that seems okay. And we've already got speed. That seems to be the thing to do there. Get him fully set up on that. And let's see what he's set for. He should be set for range, scrapper. He's going to try to do precision, wounding arrow. Uh, what else do we have? Controller, custom. Hmm. 
hero. <laughs> Not bad. We'll stick with Scrapper and we'll just use abilities as we need them. Yeah, not too bad. That's nice to have an, an actual archer, though, because Varric, you can't really do anything with him as far as new weapons and things like that. And the only way to get an archer is to be a rogue and not go down the dual weapon tree. Also, it occurs to me I have forgotten to install some of the DLC. I'm missing the uh, uh, two of the new quests, so I'll have to make sure those get installed. So, You've had luck all your yeah, not so no much. Tracks, no disasters, no uh, let's see. What do we need? We need black sheep. What do we got? Yeah, hood's message to the king. Which is a lot of fire damage. Hmm. We've got the longbow of the Avars. Uh, physical, critical, physical damage, uh, 32 damage versus humans. Hmm. That's probably the way to go. Uh, these are all. I think yeah, these are all dual weapon weapons, so I don't really have anyone who can use those. I did realize though I could give uh, these to Aveline and Fenris though. Duh. I think I already grabbed all the stabs, yeah. Grabbed all the stabs. I am curious, though. Haha, <laughs> Anders' belt. Ah, uh, goodness. What was that other thing I picked up? Picked up a weird thing there. Oh well. Let us go check on our peoples. Actually, let me go download that stuff real quick, and then I'll, we'll check out my new outfits, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, there we are. I had downloaded them, but I hadn't gotten around to um, actually installing them. So I was trying to play along with my nephew, since I was on my laptop and he was on the Xbox. Trying to help him out with some stuff. I'm getting started, at least. Memento of the past, return home and reminisce about a harrowing experience, and remember the incident at Chateau Pain? I don't remember either of those. Huh. We might not we might be too far along, we can't do it. That would suck. Have to do it as another thing. Ah, there we go. Nope, we just need to to legacy. Yeah, I guess I've already done it historically, but it'll let us do it. Let's finish Sebastian's thing and then we'll do those. First, we've got to play Dress Up! Yay! Playing Dress Up! It's the best part of any role-playing game. Playing Dress Up. Okay. Uh, a lot of weapons for Abilene, so let's go ahead and get those out of the way. You can't have a weapon. Uh, yeah. I still want Varric in the party, so we'll sub out uh, Aveline for him, but let's go down here. Teeth are bothering me. So let me close out of some of these other windows I've got open. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Hello, peoples. Okay, so we have new armor that's not as good as what we've got now, but I just want to see what it looks like. Let's see, we have the robes of pretender. Oh, it's just a different version of that. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Elements, vestments, and uh, where is it? Where's the good one? Oh no, there is a slightly different one. Oh boy, that looks awful. Okay, fugitive, fugitive, um, the fugitive gauntlets. 
stalwart, quick flight. Maybe no. Let's, let's be long treads. Boy, that looks terrible. That's just this is what the hell is that on his shoulder? Good lord. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Okay, weapons. Weepins. Oh, and we have your new thingies. The Chevalier's Banded Pride. Huh, more healing. More health and attack. And the Guardian's Weighted Backhander. Okie dokie. Then. Okay, so we have Satyrath, which right now is better than both of these. Hmm, that's a shame. We have the Edge of Night, which Demons and Undead, lots of extra attack, more damage versus humans. Not bad, not bad. What about this? Uh, yeah, her shields are better too. Oh well. We can see what they look like. Courage! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to stick with Satyrath and the Cornerstone. Satyrath looks awesome. Well, let's hope for something a little better. What have you got right now? You've got the Dwarven Great Axe of lots and lots of damage. The Dogs of War, which is not quite as good, but it has extra hit points. Ooh, he's got doggy mouths on it. The Blade of the Archon, which is terrible. Oh, God, it's... Oh, it looks almost like Cloud Sword. And the Empress's Point... Which looks amazing. That does look really cool. And it's better than what he has. It's good against demons and undead, and we do fight a lot of them. Hmm, I might have to ruin that up. That's pretty sweet looking. We're in plus 14. Right now, this is doing almost 50 damage, though. Hmm. Eh, well, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. I ended up paying money for this, though, didn't I? Oh well. This looks really cool, so we're going to go with it. And for you, we bought this one, because the other one looked okay. This one has the extra physical damage percentage, though. Huh. Nice uh, curve bow. Well, it's got that little symbol, too. Okay, cool. And you can go away. Okie dokie. Back. Backings. Now we need the Varix. Bye, Abby. And then, did we already give Sebastian his things? Well, there we go. Now he has some rings. Okay, let's go break into the Viscount's place. Because nothing bad could possibly happen. What are you, crazy? What could possibly go wrong? Mm. Face hurts. Too much sinus pressure. Yeah, that is an awesome looking sword. The hilt looks really goofy, though. Like there's a little horn or telescope on the end of it. Oh well. Um, kind of looks like we're breaking in through the front door. Can't say I've heard of worse ideas. That's a pretty terrible idea. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a people. Oh no, evil peoples! <laughs> Power. Let's do that. Boy, he does a lot of damage. Good lord. Oh, 
This guy's crazy with the damage. This is not bad at all. Can't hear anything. Oh, because I turned my volume way down for some reason accidentally. Well, that's not so bad at all. I am not unhappy with him. Oh, yeah. Weapons! Ah, cool. It works on his bow. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. Excuse me. Hello again, champion. Puffins! The Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. Isn't it, though? Oh, I thought puffins would glow. Hmm. Beric? Make with the door and ing. Easy as pie. I'm sure it's low enough Sebastian could have done it, otherwise it'd be kind of silly to have him. Well, let's see what awaits beyond yonder door. Everyone's walking like they got a poop. So, even the Divine fears us now. She's a wizard. She should. Kill what? The spies. What? Beg pardon. Blood mages. More blood mages. Sick em. Um, you, that, you, that, you shoot her a lot. Oh, that's a dead thing. I was afraid it was Fenris. Fenris is just fine. Yes, you're very impressive. Are the wizards all dead? Ah, the other blood mages turned into rage demons, and then we crushed the bad one. <laughs> 